What's going on everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the channel and welcome to a new Forza Horizon 5 video now I'm gonna start oi I'm gonna start this video with a question a very simple question What do you think the best car in this game is so the car that can do it all the car that you can just use one of them And it can do everything now you may be wondering it could be this the PLP 50 absolutely baller of a car Probably the best car in this game, right? Eh, not really. It's a uh, it's a little small it's, uh, it gets a little startled if you go a bit too far sideways, or if you take it off-road, it seems like... Yeah, it, it looks like this. Um, driving on the road isn't actually too bad, if you can control it. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely not the PLB 50. What else could it be? It, I mean, it could be the Koenigsegg Jesko, or Jesko, whatever you want to pronounce it like. <clears throat> it could be one of these off-road things. It could be the Warthog. It's definitely not the Warthog. It could be one of these. It could be uh, the Apollo... Uh, it could be something else, right? No, it's not. It's actually a very weird car. In my opinion, I think this is probably the best car in this game. And I'm going to try something with it to see if I can make it so it's the best car in this game. One thing that I've never tried with this car is to do a race build with it. This car right here, the Copo Camaro. It's a car that was added way back, I don't know how many months ago, probably a year ago, over a year ago, if even that. So... This Camaro, as you can see, is basically a drag car. It's got it's got a wheelie bar at the back, it's got a shoot at the back and everything. It is an unbelievably fast car in a straight line, as I've tested out in multiple videos, calling this thing one of the fastest or one of the best drag cars in this game. But not only that, right? We can get this thing to go off-road. You can put the big knobbly off-road tires on this thing and have it do some serious, serious off-roading in cross country and even in just normal rally events and that was very weird because it got me thinking is this car here's the tunes that i have for it you can even drift it by the way i completely forgot about that it's actually a really good drift car too now uh yeah like i said i've also been given this tune which i've used for cross country racing and it was unbelievably good i even tried this thing for a little bit of dirt racing like rally racing and i did all right as well as you can see like i said he could put some, uh, some knobbly tires on it and have it handle really well off-road. Now, here's the thing. Can this thing actually be driven normally on the road? Can you give this thing, like, racing slick tires and actually have it so it handles on the road? If you can do that, if I can go and make this thing good at handling on the road, I would honestly consider this car as being the best car in this game. There's not a lot of cars that can do every single thing really, really well. Like I said drift points you can get with this thing really really well as for drag racing it is one of the fastest cars in this game even if it may not be the best car right like you probably have a bunch of other cars that will beat this thing by like a few thousand points or like a, a second or whatever in the quarter mile right but a car that can do everything is hard to find in this game and i think this is one of the best cars in this game and i'm gonna call it the best car in this game if if i can do one thing with it and that's build it for racing. So that's what I'm going to try in today's video. I want to try to see if I can build this thing for normal racing. Give it some slick tires. Give it some aero. And see if I can actually get this thing to drive normally. Like a normal car. It already has stupid, stupid wide tires on the back. Um, you could go with 395s on the back if we really want that. Uh, it's already an S1. So power wise, it's not something that I'm going to be messing around with. I don't have any aero, unfortunately, with this thing. So I don't know how that's going to work out for me. Um, we can get rid of the shoot. That's fine. I don't really care about that. Now, like I said, okay, we can put slick tires on it. That's good. Uh, I definitely need really wide front wheels. 295s in the front should give us those really, really wide front wheels. Um, yeah, there's just no arrow. That's, that's pretty much it. That's the only thing that I don't have with this guy is, is the arrow. It just doesn't exist. Uh, apparently my handling goes up by a lot if I just widen the rear tires. So I'm going to do that anyway. Um, it is now a rear wheel drive car. If you turn this into all-wheel drive, it'll bring it all the way up into S2. Yeah, the handling is a bit bad. I'm not going to lie to you. The handling is not great. Is there any way that I can somehow maybe reduce the power of this thing? Weirdly enough, I don't know if I'm actually able to do that. Um, like, I can increase the power. It's already at 1100 horsepower, so it's not like I need more power. Um, if I keep this thing rear-wheel drive, maybe I can get it to handle... I don't know, man. Let's, let's try it anyway, right? Let's get rid of this. It's already got super, super wide rear tires, so maybe I can do something with it. Uh, I'm going to give it the best setup anyway that I possibly can. So, 
give it uh, race div. We'll adjust all of that stuff as well. But I need to I basically need to build this thing right now to be able to absorb any sort of uh, any sort of of trouble going like not sideways, but like you know what I mean. Trying to actually have some sort of grip. I don't really want to give this more power because it's all going through rear wheels. So if I edge swap this thing. Like 1500 horsepower or 1750. Like, I definitely don't want more power. I think I think power is fine with this guy. Unless I go ahead and I, I make it all-wheel drive, but then I have to drop something. Then I have to drop something. What's the... Okay. It definitely ruins the front to rear um, weight distribution a lot more. Oh, this is going to be... Uh, it's going to be hard to drive. I already know. Like I said, I need to build this thing. For racing, so we need to see what sort of time can I squeeze out with this thing on on a track or something. So, okay, one sec. Let me try and find a tune. I'll fiddle with some stuff and then see if I can get this thing, like I said, to to actually grip around corners, and uh, and deal well, especially without the arrow because arrow plays a big big part, especially in cars like S1 and S2. Big part, big part. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Alrighty then, let's try. It. I don't think this is gonna work too well for me. I really don't know if this is going to work too well for me. It's more like a... It's more like a power build, that's what it feels like. Yeah, it just goes sideways if I give it just a bit too much power. Very, very weird to drive. Like, it just spins those rear wheels so much. Yeah, it definitely feels like a power build. I think if I'm just smooth with the with the throttle inputs, my brakes are good. Yeah, if I'm smooth with the throttle inputs, I can actually take corners with it. It's not very fast, but it is definitely capable of doing it. Will I be winning any races with this thing? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go sideways a little bit. Okay. Right. Well, <laughs> let's try. I'm going to bring out one of the tracks that I have uh, that I always mess around with because it's just it's just a really good place to, to mess around with. Where is this track? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Pinewood Hills Race with this one. I'm going to try to see what it's like on this track. Uh, I maybe even bring it out on the Golden Toga. Speaking of the Golden Toga, actually, it's a perfect transition. I'm holding a competition right now. If you're watching this video and you haven't seen the competition video, basically I'm holding a massive competition where if you go and watch that video, link will be the top link in the description box down below. Um, it'll explain everything. Basically, it's a golden toe gate competition where you go as fast as possible. It's like a time trial and you guys get to compete against each other for winning 1 billion, like with a B, like max credits on your account. Um, so, uh, yeah, try and take part in that if you're interested. Like I said, link to that will be down below. Um, yeah, I may even take this thing on the Golden Toggy, just to see how terrible it actually is. There as well. Uh, right, sim steering, I'm gonna leave just manual on, and, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's try this out. Maybe all-wheel drive would've been good for this. It's like pulling out of corners is, it's really hard. With it, it's like, it's hard for me to put my power down properly. See? Like, my throttle inputs right now are, like, 50%, if that. Like, I'm trying to be really, really smooth. It's just got so much power. Like I said, brakes are very good on it. Brakes are the one thing that I don't really have to worry about too much. The drag radials have so much, like, front... Like pro a, a linear grip, I guess if that's that's what it's called. Because the lateral grip, I I know, are just gonna be terrible, which is what these slick tires are for. I don't know. Maybe it's just not good at this. Maybe the hunt continues. Maybe the hunt for the best car in this game continues. Maybe the hunt for the best car still continues. I have a couple more ideas of, of other cars. It actually took that corner fairly well. I have another couple of ideas on on cars that could be 
classified as the best guys in this game. So we'll see. But if you have any ideas or any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely down to try them in, in other videos. But I wanted to try and see what the best guys in this game actually are. What the hell? <laughs> well, I did a 137, which is horrific. And that was with a standing start. I kind of want to try to take this thing down the gold target. It's just so, such a difficult character to... I really hate this track. Uh, this track is... As much as I like this track, like, it's just a, a well, like, laid out track and stuff like that. The actual platforms that are used to create it are so old school. I don't, like, they're just... Uh, it's just stupid that they don't morph together. That's really annoying. You see how this piece of road is, like... You can't see where, like, the patches are attached to one another. Because, obviously, it's the main map, but... I wish that you could do that to, like, custom tracks and stuff that people just create on their own. Um, but yeah, let me try this on a gold target. It's just going to be so bad, man. I, I can already tell how bad this is going to be. Let's try it anyway. Let's see. Even rock rolling. I haven't actually tried this thing for rock rolling, but I feel like it's going to be really bad there as well. It's just too low to the ground. Even if you lift it fully, it's just, it's just a little too low to the ground. And too big. But I thought that this was going to be a little bit better. I honestly didn't know that you couldn't put any arrow. I think if you can put some front arrow on this guy, it would have been a game changer. I think this guy would have been really, really, um, really, really good. I can't see anything. That cowl on the hood, cannot see a damn thing at all. <laughs> I think I need to play with like bumper camera or something. I'm definitely a little bit... <laughs> Look at it, it's huge. Or what's the cow like? Or like, oh, this view. Yeah, this view is fine. I can play like this. I'll show you the exterior view as well afterwards. For people that want to see the third person perspective. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'll show you the view from the third person perspective for anybody that wants to see that as well. Bro, I, I don't even know what to like start turning with this thing. It's so weird. The tune is fine, it's just the power delivery is just <laughs> It's mad. It's just got way too much power. Or for whatever reason, it loves to just smash into the ground. I don't know why. It's not even that low. You should see the amount of throttle that I'm using, by the way. Like, it's never 100%. Ever. Oh my god. If this thing does a sub 5 minute, I'd be very surprised. Seriously. And this is S1, like... Sub five minutes. It should be, it should do a sub four minute. But I'm just saying, if it does a sub five minute, I'd be surprised. With the way this thing drives. Oh my god. Careful, careful. Now ease on the power. Nice. Especially when I'm turning. Definitely ease on the power. I'll put my power down. Watch. Oh no, it's gonna... Okay, keep it in check, keep it in check, keep it in check. I need to slow down into here, so it's either, it's either break or smash into the fence. Same thing. Same thing, it just slows me down. Oh god. That's the corner I should be able to do at like 120 miles an hour. Not 88. Yeah, I'm just being careful. Yeah, see the way it's like floating around everywhere? If it had air, it would be so much more. So much more like... Just... I don't know. 
balance. It's just it wouldn't be like flying around everywhere or floating around everywhere. The tune that I made was made just so I could actually be able to take corners with this thing, right? So I adjusted the camera and toe accordingly. Uh, the same with my diff and, and spring setup. Or sorry, not diff, but like the the dampers and spring setup. It's just it's just soft enough. Now when this leans onto the tires, it actually, they grip up and they turn, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> it's just when I decide to like floor it. I wish you could detune it. I think it would actually not be that bad if I detune this thing. But you can't. You can't detune it, man. In Grand Turismo, you can. In Grand Turismo, you can like just detune your car so they make less power than what they're supposed to. If you buy like an aftermarket turbo as well, you can change, I think. Not the PSI, but like, it's just the amount of power output that it, it puts out. I think you can change it to whatever you want. But I wish you could do that in this game. You could just detune cars. But then again, I feel like then it would be like kind of cheaty, because you end up get, getting like a car like the Sesso Elemental Forza Edition, which has unbelievable like aero, you know? And you'll bring it down to like A-Class or something. And it'll just be unfair for all the A-Class cars that you build them. So I guess it makes sense. Why well, you can't detune cars in this, but... Oh my god, we're at 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Can I take these last few corners? In the next 30 seconds. I, oh god. Nice, so come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think it's done it. 4.49, a sub 5 minute run. Oh my god. How? How? I guess it's just th like a lot of throttle control. That's literally all this was. Man, that was hard. That was a hard, a hard task. I didn't really mess up too much, but I kind of like withheld myself from from flooring it. You know, I basically just detuned my car with my with my finger, just kind of like reducing the amount of power that I put down. Literally anything that I put down just a tiny bit too much, it's over. Like, it just completely gets destroyed. Like, the run. You just immediately will end up spinning out, or like, getting the oversteer. And you'll see it in some, in some circumstances where I like, just a tiny bit put the power down. And the backhand just steps out so easily. And even with the steering, I have to be like, so easy with it. Like, I can't just like, dart it into the corners. Because it just doesn't work. Even if I put some steering on, I think I honestly feel like this guy would probably be a little bit better with like regular steering, like standard steering, instead of sim steering, because it'll be less twitchy and it'll be a little bit easier to to do very smooth movements. Because like if I do any sort of harsh movements with this thing, it doesn't even matter if it's just steering or throttle. I feel like I'll end up getting this thing to spin out or something. Yeah, that was just it was just fun to try and test this thing out like this. Uh, I guess the hunt for the best guy still continues. Like, if you can't do this, then I'm not even going to bother to take this thing rock crawling. There is one more car that I have in mind that I feel like it can do everything. It's it's a little smaller, I think, just a tiny bit. But I know it's I know it's got a lot of horsepower. I know it's able to race really, really well on-road and off-road. I haven't never taken it out drifting, so I don't know what it's like drifting. But it, it probably is very, very good if it's capable of doing that. I know you can have the off-road like knobbly tires on it. I know you can have pretty much every tire possible on the on that car. I feel like that video is gonna be really good. I feel like that video is gonna be really really good. Um, well here we go. Right, this is this this was the Copa Camaro. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then of course subscribe. And, you know, just so you can get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Plus, it helps the channel out a lot in trying to get to obviously a higher subscriber number. Higher number means better person. According to uh, Ludwig, for people that watch him. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of this run for this video, uh, just to see how it goes from the third-person perspective. But 
yeah, I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you for watching, everybody, once again. And yeah, like I said, leave your suggestions down below for any other cards that you guys want me to try and feature on this uh, on this little mini series that I'm doing on the channel. I'm trying to figure out what the best card in this game is. The card that can do it all, basically. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.